Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? What can you tell me about snakes? What does this look like? A zoo? Never mind, don't answer that. No, I don't know nothing about no snakes. What do you know about St. John's Eve? A bunch of crazies out there on St. John's Eve, that's what. We're busy all night. Really? What kind of crazies? Oh, your usual howl at the mooners, I guess. They don't look no weirder than them that come in during Mardi Gras. Never can tell, though. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Go on back. Do you know what Capri San Carl means? No. Sounds foreign or something. What do you know about Marie Laveau? Marie who? Is she the one that hangs out on Conti and Nash? Uh, no. Never mind. Do you know anything about animal masks? I see plenty of masks during Mardi Gras. Not many animals, though. Because there's plenty of animals underneath. There's a photocopy machine in the office area. The bulletin board is littered with everything from wanted posters to flyers. Excuse me, officer? Yes? Could you get me some coffee? Are you speaking to me? Why, yes. Wow, déjà leave it to Beaver. I'm the police photographer, sir. You might be able to find someone around here dumb enough to get coffee for you, but it won't be me. Oh, thanks anyway. I can give you precise instructions for the handling of hot liquids if you need them. N no thanks. So, what's it like being a policewoman? The glamour never ceases. You know, that uniform looks great on you. Uh-huh. Is that a compliment or are you asking to borrow my dress? It's a compliment. Well, you just never know around here. Thanks, but I'm married. Oh, never mind. Fine, I'll get back to work. There's a temperature gauge on the wall near Mosley's office. The mirror reflects. That's all it does. Detective Mosley. Hard at work, I see. Yeah, yeah. What is it, you wanker? Are you hot? Man, I'm hot. Whatever goes into those files never comes out. A microwave? If Gabriel knows Mosley, it's used exclusively for frozen corn dogs. Mosley's caught. Mosley's bookcase holds old magazines and binders. Police department memos and other didactic blurbs. Mosley was one of those beefy guys in his youth. Now he's getting lumpy. At least he's taken off that horrible coat. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away.
How about getting me some coffee? Coffee? You want coffee? Did that surprise you? Nah, you've always been a caffeine addict. It's just that what we got here hardly qualifies. So I'm desperate. It's your stomach. I'll get you some when we're done talking. That long? All right, I'll go now. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. I think I'll just borrow this badge. Hey, hey, what are you doing with my coat? Nothing. I thought I saw something crawling on it. Just drink this. Thanks. Tons. I mean it. Okay. Anything else? What can you tell me about voodoo? There's voodoo that goes on in this city. Sure, I looked into it a bit at the beginning of this case. But the voodoo stuff found at the crime scenes is all fate. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know. I asked some experts. It's intimidation tactics. That's all. What else can you tell me about voodoo? I told you, don't worry about that part of it. It's all fate. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Lots. Can you be more specific? Do you know anything about the killers? At least 20 people attend the killings. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scenes. Footprints? Aren't those as good as fingerprints? Can be, but we'd have to have a suspect in custody first. And the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Most of the footprints are smudged, trodden over, unreadable. These guys are so casual in their expertise, it's maddening. Like they know we'll never find them. How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the voodoo murders case. The first murder occurred about eight weeks ago. The M.O. is the same in each murder. Lake Pontchartrain was the seventh. What kind of evidence have you found? No fingerprints. A few bare footprints. Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. Leopard fur. Describe the crime scenes. Well, there's the corpse itself, minus the heart. Around where the body was killed, we find marks in flour and blood. There are traces of wax from candles, red and black. Ordinary wax candles, so the lab reports. Also blood and feathers of chickens and goat's blood. And plenty of the victim's own, of course. What's the coroner say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Lovely. Any idea what they do with them? Don't even want to know. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. Literally scared to death. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy-edged knife. Probably a ritualistic dagger. Any witnesses? Nope. There's never been a single witness. No one's even heard a disturbance. It's damned weird. Like they just don't want people to see. And so nobody sees nothing. Know anything about the victims? The victims are all out of towners. We still don't know why. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Sure, no problem. Okay. Anything else? Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Is she that red-headed chick that works at Freddy's? Um, no. Then I don't know her. What can you tell me about Nolens? You and me grew up here together. You tell me. It's a pretty nice place, even seeing the stuff I see, you know. The Carter's getting a bit too wild, though. Getting hard to control. Not quite what it was when you and me used to hang here, but... Hell, I've never known anything else. What can you tell me about Nolens? Ah, I'm too sentimental to say anything else about it. Do you know anything about animal masks? Animal masks? You mean like those Halloween masks they sometimes use in robberies? I don't think so. More like real animals. Never ran across anything like that. 
Do you know anything about snakes? The only thing I know about snakes is that I don't like them. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? That's coming up, isn't it? We get some occasional weirdness in the quarter, but nothing much. Used to have a lot of strange things happen, though, or so I hear. What else can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I don't know much except what I already told you. Does the phrase Capri Saint Co mean anything to you? Hell no! Is that French? My mother spoke it, but I always had a hard enough time just speaking English. True enough. Tell me about yourself. For the book? Sure, why not? Okay. What do you want to know? <laughs>